Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Harvest, and yes, the new update is here. Modern Horizon has arrived. So today, the developers went live to show us the new cars that are coming back to was not coming back, but coming to Horizon for the Horizon 5. These are completely new cars. This time it's not recycled cars from other horizon from other or further horizon games these are completely new new cars and at the start of the not exactly the start but at the series progress first car to be introduced to forza horizon 5 the kia ev6 gt from 2023 so this car is an ev as you can tell in the name ev6 on it so this car has this car comes with 576 horsepower and 740 newton meters of torque and it has an acceleration from 0 to 16 about 3.5 seconds no way that's a whole suv which take 3.5 seconds to go from 0 to 60 it has two electric motors i guess one in the front and one in the back that's what they always say and it has a quarter mile of 8 of 11.8 seconds from an suv i don't know if people are excited about this one but there are definitely more better kias they could have added to the game other than this biggest suv but hey some people i think some people are excited about this one and it has other three variants of this car but they are less powerful than this one so we got the most powerful one okay i guess that's a win on our side we didn't get the, the other one which are slower than this one and our next car on the list mustang dark horse so last time the developers added the ford gt the normal one the normal version one the standard one and i saw need for speed unbound they have added the dark horse and the developers were like okay and we're gonna add that one to forza horizon 5 too so need for speed unbound developers thought they were slick when they saw that horizon developers added the regular gt and they said we're gonna add the dark horse because they know people want the dark horse and now the forza horizon 5 developers retaliated and added the dark horse now need for speed look down because now we have two mustangs in forza horizon 5 they only have the the dark horse only so forza horizon for the win so this car has a five liter coyote v8 engine kicking out 500 horsepower and about 418 foot pound of torque now that's power the, the last one i think it had 400 ish horsepower this one has 500 horsepower out of a 5.5 point liter v8 engine who i wonder if this one also has the, the mustang gtd kit because in need for speed unbound it does have the gtd which is better than the one we have in forza because that one is more accurate than this one we have in forza horizon 5 so yeah i'm excited about this one so i'm definitely gonna check out this car when it comes out to subscribe to see that video when it comes out so in autumn we already saw this car already they posted it on instagram when they were showing us that they were gonna go live so this ionic and hit 0 16 about three seconds so almost it's faster than the ev the kia ev and it's a, it has a quarter mile of 11.1 seconds and a top speed of 123 miles miles per hour that is fast and it has 601 horsepower that's a lot of horsepower so this car has this driving mode which emulates like the gears of a real car and it produces sounds like a combustion engine car i i mean if you want a car that makes combustion sound why don't they give it an engine if they wanted it to sound like that why make it electric and give us fake sound um i i will see it when it comes in forza horizon 5 but i heard the developers said it doesn't have those things in the game this is gonna be a pure electric car in the game no funny sounds from a combustion engine even though they're fake so you won't have that but it has two modes i think it has a track mode and a drift mode if i remember but i don't remember very well but it has mode in the game so that 
definitely exciting to hear about definitely need modes in cars which have those modes in real life we have been definitely getting some high end days through the last update so now we know who's paying for the accounts to come in forza horizon 5 so in our next so in the next in the spring season we have a new car new to forza car all of them are new to forza car we have the taken ct from 2023 i think it's cross turismo if i'm okay yes it is the cross turismo and this car has a 0 to 60 of 4.5 seconds with low control and it has 429 horsepower and a top speed of 137 so it's faster than the ionic ionic 5 so i'm not excited about electric cars but i want to see this one because it's not the regular the one we have in forza horizon 5 with a with which is a sedan this one is a what do they call the touring or something like that i want to see how it looks in forza horizon 5 that's definitely an exciting thing to witness in forza horizon 5 and the most highly requested car is here and this is the toyota gr yaris yep it's finally here people have been asking for this car for the longest time it's not the most requested car but it is one of the most request requested car in forza horizon 5 so yeah it's finally here and it has two body kits which it will have in the game so that's actually exciting we definitely need more customization in forza horizon 5 in new cars which are coming so far so good and this one is the only one which showed us customizations which are exciting the other ones not sure because they just showcase them just driving them they didn't speak too much about them and their customizations they just showed us the cars and told us fun facts about the cars but this one has a body kit and that's exciting to see and yes ladies and gentlemen there is a dlc pair coming this time and it includes cars from iconic movies um the delorean from back to the future and the jeep from jurassic park and kit from knight rider the seven the, the, the old one i know there's a mustang which is a um, from a latest show knight rider show and th this one is from the older older generation the kid car from yeah it's kid i think it's a pontiac quarter I, I don't remember the name of the car so yeah here's the video of it tell me what you think about the dlc of this time